I'm Kathy from Kathy's Chuckle Club. It's Fabulous Fun Friday again. On this episode, stay tuned as we are talking about Mayflowers. Not the Mayflower, that boat from the 1600s that sailed to the North America. <laughs> We're talking about Mayflowers, flowers. Let's go in search of some blooms. Let's go see. Hee hee hee. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> so in an earlier episode we talked about April showers bringing May flowers so here we are it's May let's see what's happening I'm not talking about my beautiful garden tower look at this you will give it a spin that has been planted with my annuals which are really beautiful and they bloom all summer I'm talking about the perennials the things that grow just kind of automatically it seems like they just grow this <laughs> this is a uh, well go and have a look and see what's in your, your yard let me just take you on a tour of my yard so look at this this is my personal bee watching garden I don't even know what these are but look oh look at there's a bumblebee here. thank you very much mr. bumbler <laughs> I could sit here and and watch the bumblebees like I'm you know you get down and it's so beautiful so those purple ones I don't know what they are so beautiful and then there's those white ones. They're kind of like a cover, a rock cover. They just come every year too. And then these ones, look at, they have white striped leaves and um, beautiful pink flowers. Again, I don't know what they are either, but it's so beautiful. Yay, la 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 la. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these beautiful little things. White flowers, these are Star of Bethlehem. And they just, look at them, they're so beautiful. Mm, and they just populate so I have little clusters of these I don't know how these move around but I have some more little clusters in my yard and they just arrive you <laughs> onward and upward oh even chives look at this so beautiful they're they're perennials and they will will um, expand and you can eat them and they get these beautiful purple flowers that again the bees love and the insects love and again edible and you can add the flowers to uh, vinegars and stuff and have kind of flavored uh, vinegar. Yup. Ha ha ha. Oh, and over here, how could we forget you? You're the forget-me-nots. Ha 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 ha. Look at these cute little little flowers. They're so cute. Like, hello, here we are. Don't forget us. No, oh, look at you. are so beautiful. So this garden here, if you don't have sun, you have a lot of shade because you have beautiful trees like I do in my yard you can also still have a beautiful garden look at this is one of my favorite spots in the yard it's cool here on a really hot sunny day and these ferns are so beautiful yes maybe you might have heard of fiddleheads in the spring early spring when they're all curled up you can have some fiddleheads but so beautiful don't eat them when they're uh, full-grown fronds and then there's, I've got hostas, of course they don't need any sun. You can grow beautiful hostas. They just come back year after year. There are so many varieties. And yes, you can eat those as a last resort. And of course the beautiful lily of the valley. Yup. So they, some people talk about them as invasive. So you wanna maybe keep them contained, but they've been here for several years and they're, they haven't taken over. They're just kind of nicely lined. This is my favorite little wild forest garden. I love it so much. Mm, yay! Let's see what else we can find. Ha 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 ha! Oh, you little bleeding heart, ya. Da -da 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 -da. Coming from the back to the front. Look at even here. So here we are on the driveway. Look at in this harsh conditions. Oh, I'm going to talk about comfrey, but first let's talk about this first one that I'm. This is comfrey. This is used as a medicinal plant. Um, I think it does have a flower, I'm not sure. Every plant has a flower, I think. <laughs> but this is, has, is very high in nitrogen, so it's a great composting. It's great for composting. And it's used for different um, creams and salves, I believe. It's beautiful. And look at in these harsh, harsh conditions. Oh my gosh, I have to talk about this beautiful plant, Columbine. Woo! Yup! Hello, wind! Wow. Look at inside this beautiful plant. Wow, nature is amazing. And side by each, columbine just pops up all over the place. We got footage of it at Scanlon Creek, a whole little patch of columbine. So all different colors, it spreads by seed. It's a wonderful um, 
plant that comes up every year and through the stones you can grow, see it growing up through this like crack in the sidewalk oh so beautiful ah oh, you might have noticed that i have my bare feet on <laughs> i'll just talk a moment about earthing i've talked about it in previous episodes it's simply connecting to the earth's energy so beautiful when we're earthing um, when we wear shoes we're not connected to the earth's energy so this is a beautiful time walking around um, getting connected so there we go kind of con combining duties <laughs> so here we are in the front yard and look at these beautiful flowers here this is called lungwort or pulmonaria my mom used to say my grandma in Newfoundland called this Mrs. Moon so in honor of my grandma and Mrs. Moon let's do an exercise so we're all familiar with the universal energy comes in from the top, goes through our body, the central core, down into the earth, and up from the earth, back and forth. So back and forth, up and down. There's also kind of a field called the toric field. So we're gonna do a, a breath, and I want you to experience the field itself. I want you to feel the energy. So just, just go slow, here we go. So put your hands, your fingertips almost touching, down below your belly button and breathe in and smiling breathe in slowly go up and then exhale with the, in and out through your nose again breathe in if you can't feel the energy go slower The energy is there. This is the universal energy, the pulse. We're just tapping in through the central core. Mmm, so beautiful. Can you feel it? I hope you can feel it. Eyes open or closed. Sometimes I feel like when my eyes are closed, I can feel the energy easier. It helps me focus in more. One more time. Ah, hmm, oh my gosh, I hope you're enjoying this tour around my yard. <laughs> Yoop, ha, ah. ha, ah. after a leisurely stroll around the yard, check out my favorite spot. Well, one of them, I've said them, they're all my favorite. They kind of are, they have different purposes, that is. Yoop, this lovely bench. Kind of in the shade depending on the time of day and it's a wonderful spot to sit and watch the spa the bird spa that is it's perfect they attract such wonderful winged ones and four leggeds too the squirrels and whatnot <laughs> maybe the raccoons at night i don't know <laughs> oh and it's so fun just watching them if i sit quiet i can just sit and they come because it's shaded there so the water is cool the pool is cool as they say they can splash around, it's deep enough, and they frolic about. Fresh water every day, so beautiful. Yum, who doesn't love that? Ah, anyway, folks, that's another episode of Fun Fab Friday. I hope you enjoyed this Mayflowers episode. It wasn't about the ship. <laughs> it was about what the April showers brought. All right, we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Ha! Ah, get outside and earth and enjoy the weather. Yoop! Ah, remember to smile, laugh, breathe, and last of all, be grateful. Mm, I'm grateful to you. <laughs>